Good morning, everyone. Welcome to August 7th Market Minute. I'm John Hopkins, President of Invested Central. Right now, we get the Dow futures up 30, the S&P futures are up 4, and NASDAQ futures are up 14. Asian shares were higher, while European shares were mixed overnight. Futures were up ahead of the bell on Monday as the bulls looked to add to Friday's nice gains. With nothing standing in the way, the market got off to a nice start with some selling late in the session. By the time the market closed, all the major indexes had advanced. There are no key economic reports due out today. Today we'll get earnings from CVS and Priceline, to name a few. On the S&P, we've got the 20-day moving average at 1366, the 50-day at 1342, and the 200-day at 1323. The S&P closed at 1394 with support at 1366 and resistance at 1400. The bulls got off to a great start Monday morning while adding on to Friday solid gains. I've been talking about 1400 as the target on the S&P lately, and what was the high on Monday? 1399.63. And, not unexpectedly, traders took some profits off the table at the end of the day. But, even though the market lost some gains late, we saw higher highs on all the major indexes and setting the stage for even higher prices. Next key level of resistance on the S&P, that April high of 1422. My thinking is on any further selling, buying will resume and eclipsing 1400 will put the bulls in good shape. The Invested Central team is heading to Seattle tomorrow for StockCharts.com's ChartCon 2012. Accordingly, there won't be a market minute on Wednesday. This is John Hopkins. I'll be back Thursday morning with another market minute.